what's up? I'm redoing another video. This is the You Train Like a Girl. And if you go to my website, you'll find an article under the same title. And it's just, it's to bring to people's attention some of the things that they're doing that isn't helping them to maximize their training. I'm going to keep this video nice and short because again, the last one ran too long. So the premise is you'll go anywhere around the coast and you'll see, it's mostly women, but guys are doing this too. That's why I call it You Train Like a Girl. Uh, and what a lot of people are doing is they're doing a lot of running type exercises and just, you know, generally just trying to work out. Uh, and then they're doing a whole bunch of crunches, like sometimes hundreds of just different crunches and exercises and things. All the people that run those circuit sessions down at the beach are all doing the same thing. And the premise, as far as my understanding goes, is that you're trying to do all this running and things, uh, which is like your cardio, and that's going to burn fat. And then you're doing your, all your ab exercises because you think it's going to flatten your belly. So basically by incorporating to you and get rid of some body fat, have a nice toned abs, which for some reason everybody thinks that they want, probably don't if you actually knew uh, more about that, but that's for another video. But um, you, you kind of, you're kind of not even half right on both counts. So the idea of the article in this video is to bring your attention to perhaps how to do this uh, more in, in a better way for you. Again, it's not putting people down the way they're doing things, it's just that it's hard to get good information in this world and things that will actually uh, help you. So the main reason it doesn't work is that running and I'm going to do a video on running. Uh, we're, we're humans, we're born to run. We're literally uh, an, an animal that is meant to run. We're meant to uh, walk, jog, run, and sprint. We've got different phases of, of um, you know, our ability to, our gait cycles and our ability to move and to run. Uh, what happens though is that most of us didn't develop properly as infants. So, um, and then, you know, we got into shoes at an early age and it affects the uh, development of our, our bones, our tissues, and our, our gait cycle, how we actually move our bodies. So when you see a lot of people when they're running, they've actually got horrible form and they probably shouldn't be running just yet until they go through corrective rehabilitation exercises in order to fix that up. Now, as far as the crunches go, I mean, man, you can get the best set of abs you've ever seen and not do a crunch. Crunches are actually counterproductive. What happens is, and a lot of people, they do this in those circuit sessions, you see them and they're all like, come on, you can do it, do more, and they're like doing these half crunch and it's an isometric hold, right, and they're just holding that for a minute, and people's posture is bad enough as it is, all you're doing when you're doing those exercises is shortening an already short and tight muscle, you're putting an imbalance through the back, you probably blow your back out at some stage, um, doing some sort of lifting or other type of uh, exercise, so... The point of this video, just to keep it short, is that running and especially sprinting, if, if that's what you're trying to, if, you, if you're trying to do it to lose weight, um, you want to keep the exercises short and intense, so that means sprints, you need a base level of strength and ability to get up to that. If you're just out randomly running, unless you're training for, say, a triathlon or a running event, uh, it's, it's not a very useful exercise to do, other than the fact that running is great for it. Um, the sit-ups, if you're trying to train your abs, um, what I'm going to do is, I actually showed you in the last video, I can't bother showing it again today, so I'm going to post a link at the end of this to show you how to do a 4.4 .4 stance, I'm pretty sure Paul Check will have a video on it and I'll find it for you and I'll post it in so you can check that out. That's an exercise that looks extremely basic but I guarantee it will kick your ass in a really good way and that's just a base level exercise. I will, when I start doing abdominal training and core training videos, show you how you can progress that into things like crawling and then proper dynamic um, abdominal training. So just as a preface to that, if you're really keen to start getting into that sort of stuff, the order you want to train your abdominals in is lower, uh, oblique and upper because of the way that they're innovated. It's, it's one muscle, uh, well at least the rectus is, the obliques are separate, but it's innovated in different ways. So just to cut a long story short, train lowers first, then obliques, then uppers. Um, if you're going to just really hit your abdominals, either have a specific abdominal or core training workout, your abs aren't your core by the way, but that's another story altogether, uh, or do your workout first, your sprints and everything, because you want your core functioning, you want its full function, you don't want it to be fatigued when you're going and doing things like uh, you know, heavy lifting or sprints or something that requires a high level of core stability. And just remember the actual function of these muscles. The function of these muscles, of a crunch on a Swiss ball, which I will get around to showing you, is good, but you have to phase it right. It's your whole head, your eyes, and your abdominals, and everything have to work together. Nobody does that. I will show you how to do that uh, sooner rather than later. 
And uh, just remember the function of the chorus is stabilize the spine, is to move you in various planes and just doing all this over and over again. I mean, I'm sure if I punched you in the stomach, you may have a very uh, strong abdominal wall. It's not a very useful skill. I mean, when I was doing my kickboxing, when I was used to fight and everything, we'd do hundreds of crunches a day and you could kick us through the wall. Literally, take a kick to the stomach, it wouldn't hurt. But a lot of us, it took uh, a long time to actually rehabilitate our low backs because we develop severe imbalances and it's just not the way the core is meant to function. You've got to get out of this habit. I know that people, I know I'm talking really quick, but I know that people do it because they don't really know any better. But let me just put this to you. First of all, if you watch my personal training video, you'll know there's a difference between, there's a, there's a big difference in the quality of coaches. So um, if you find what I say, because some people find what I say a little bit like, um, you know, it's, it's putting people down sometimes, it's coming off high and mighty, it's not the point, it's not what I'm trying to do. Um, but I can understand sometimes that you might not want me, because I'm not doing this to get clients, 100%. I'll probably turn more clients away by either showing somebody how much time and effort they're actually going to have some, put into something to get the results they want. I'm never going to sell somebody a quick fix. Um, or, you know, I sound like I'm trying to tell it how it is and people don't like that. And I understand that, but I'm just here to try to give you truth try to help you be the happiest and healthiest and strongest version of yourself without having to um, put up with bullshit. And sometimes the truth comes off arrogant and I don't make any apologies for that. But if you do want to learn these things and you think you don't want to work with me and you're on the Gold Coast, feel free to email me. I'm just happy to point you in the right direction. I'll point you to a coach that I can recommend and um, you, they'll be able to get you started on how to do these workouts. Point of that whole little ramble is that most people spend more on their friggin' shoes, their yoga pants, and their workout tops, girls, not only girls but guys too, and their drink bottle or whatever, then you would spend on say four or five high quality coaching sessions and you'll learn how to write yourself a program for a year. You'll have whatever body you want, you'll be as fit and healthy as you like from four or five uh, good quality coaching sessions, then you know that's gonna cost you less than what you're spending on your workout gear. So just a little bit of um, you know, something for you to think about there. And um, that'll do. Hopefully that uh, sorted that video out. Uh, check out the link for the, um, hopefully Paul Check's done a video on it and I'll find that. And then stay tuned for the abdominal training videos. And again, I will just plug something. I do run periodic uh, high performance core conditioning seminars. It's a two hour seminar and you'll learn everything about how to train your abs, your core, how it functions, how to, how to um, time with your current strength and conditioning program or if you don't have one, how to create one, how to periodize, and um, just how to fit it in with your, with your sports and your current regime, whatever your goals are, um, how to do it properly, how to get a strong and maintain a strong, healthy body. If you get abs from, see most people have it backwards, they, they're trying to train abs for aesthetics. It's like, I just, I really don't recommend you do that. Um, I used to say when I was originally a personal trainer, even though I did train people for figure competitions and bodybuilding comp, I used to say that vanity is not a sport. So what I do is I get these people to train for functionality, for strength, for their health, for their fitness, and then you know they just got a great body as a result of it. And um, I just think that's a healthier way to approach your training than trying to do 500 crunches a day because you think you're going to get flat abs. And you're going to ruin your posture. And I mean, you, you literally don't look good if your posture's not great. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned for my videos on abdominal training, core training, posture, all that sort of thing. That'll do for today with any other questions and I'll see you soon.